Def Leppard on Night Sounds. Yes. There goes the Animal. Joe, boy, you're going in the jukebox. Is your jukebox oh. filled with um, lava lamp gunk? <laughs> uh, oh, act- did, did you have a lava lamp? I always I wonder did. what was I totally in. did. <laughs> I was wondering what was in a jukebox, but yeah, I had several. Back oh, yeah. when, I, when I was in radio, long ago, Joe, back when you used to do that thing, sort of thing, mm-hmm. you get paid for it. Oh, yeah. This radio station, I put two lava lamps like beside me. And you know how DJs are, man. They just walk by just to check out the level of the lava at this mm-hmm. point. You know, it's like, oh, you got a good flow going on. See you later. You know, <laughs> so sure. I love lava lamps. Sure. Man. And at Dudley's, there's like 15 of them. They're for sale, too, if you're. Oh, interested. nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I think I, I am past my lava lamp and blacklight phase. I, I, you know, that, that it's good for college and it's good for like when you're single. When when you get into a relationship, I don't you know I don't know it just doesn't it doesn't really fit, but you know what actually the, actually yeah. it might fit in my aesthetic at my home right now I might have to think about that what colors are available actually I'll just go to Dudley's oh, and I'll check it I'll out I'll tell you one thing there's so many different kinds of lava lamps now there's those ones that you can put glitter in uh, and, uh, no just give me give me like old school traditional 1970s lava lamp um but I am going back into the jukebox to answer your question. I am getting inspired by my um, my workouts, and mm-hmm. so uh, you know that one goes out. That's uh, for Andy Spear over at Peloton. Thank you. Your your workouts uh, and your. Do you actually get to talk stuff? to this Andy Spear? Oh no! Here? I would love so, to talk to Andy Spear from Peloton. He seems like a nice guy. It's like a one way kind of thing. Like hey, yeah, yeah. It's just on person. demand. Like I just watch watch him do his but work. there's you know, a, he's there's doing a, a level workout. of peloton that you can like interact can't you is that a thing or am i just i've never seen oh that um no i mean we linda and i could actually go and take a class if we ever wanted to go no, to I mean, peloton studios thing. in new york but on the thing it's not like virtual where you can like take a live class on the thing yeah yeah you can take oh. I, we can take a live class i just i don't want to take live classes <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um well, you got to remember because their studios are in New York and uh, Linda likes a lot of different instructors. I tend to just like Andy Spear, basically, or Rebecca. Um, so I just take a lot of Andy classes. The one major class that I do take is is Sunday morning at what would be 7 a.m. my time. So um, no, I don't want to wake up. That yeah, early no, that's Sunday. too early for anything. Yeah, yeah so Sunday I just take it on seven. Demand. No, I just take it on demand. I'll barely meet somebody for a Zoom coffee Sunday morning at 7. I got friends in Ireland and stuff. They're like, let's meet at a coordinated time. You know, I'm eight hours, 24, 7 uh, hours uh, later than you. So let's meet at 3.30 in the morning. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, man. Uh, I had those I had those same kind of troubles when I was uh, managing distributed teams. When you have, like, teams in India, you got to remember, they're, like, they're 10 hours ahead. So you, yeah, I was always I was always nice about it. I was always trying to get them on at a reasonable time. Like I would get up early at like 8 a.m. So they, it would be like 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. their time. My my old boss was sometimes terrible about it. He'd be like, oh, uh, no, I just I'm not going to wake up that early. We'll just do it at like 11 a.m. I'm like. Man, that's like midnight their time. He's like, I don't care. I'm like, dude, <laughs> we can't treat our development team like this. Anyway, I was nice about it. You know, some people are. Some people are. It's weird. That's a that's a that's a weird trouble to have though. I'm on a f- I'm I'm dealing with that right now, Joe, with the uh, EV situation with my vehicle. That, oh, um, why why is that? For those of you that don't know, I I had an EV for two months and it blew up. The uh, big battery is dead ski, so I'm going through the rigmarole right of uh, dealing with GM and their customer service their oh, uh, situation. I'm sorry. So I'm getting them. They're from South Africa, and I think they're actually in South Africa because they have to schedule oh, times. Wow. And when they talk to me, boy, it's like nighttime voice on the other end. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, so oh yeah, yeah call centers, man. They're all in on the other side of the world. That's got to be a weird existence. Um, it's akin to, oh man, remember when we used to do overnights? Oh my god, yeah. Oh man, when before automation, we would actually there would actually have to be someone in the studio flipping the records and the CDs and putting the carts in and stuff. And man, sometimes those turnarounds were brutal. Like. 
I would work midnight to 6 a.m. and then have to come back at 9 a.m. I would just find an empty studio and just sleep for two hours. I can't do that anymore. I can't sleep like Boy, that. Boy, those were the days before legal <laughs> got in the way, and now there's no way you can do that anymore. Legal? Oh, man. Taking all the fun away from the sleepovers and the things and the whatevers. We're working 18 hours and in 24 and doing it again the next day. Yeah. Those were the days. And then we'd make a good hard 12 bucks an hour. <laughs> if you were lucky, I think I left radio making like 10 bucks an hour, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. I'd take it right now. Yeah. You know, that's it. <laughs> now we're doing it for free. We're paying you. Let's get into this song from Ray LaMontagne. And we'll play Trouble, and then we'll come back with Tim Reynolds. He's um, famous for being in the Dave Matthews Band. Ooh. He's got a new side project, a jazz trio, TR3. Oh, we'll that's cool. About yeah, we'll learn all about that coming up here in a minute after Ray LaMontagne on Night Sounds. 